I've been fortunate enough to be involved in a lot of great live concert recordings of different festivals and, and great artists. And one of the problems always is at the very end when everyone wants to get out very quickly is copying over all of the files to a drive to a backup for the client. And while speeds have gotten faster, it's still a problem. So Cubase has a way of kind of recording to multiple drives simultaneously, which we'll show you. Let's say in my project I have, for demonstration purposes, we have eight, eight channels. So we could select these eight channels. Now, if you quickly want to name the channels in Cubase, you could double click and enter some text, hit the tab key, and that will take you directly to the next field to name your tracks, like so. I like to place all of the tracks into a folder, and an easy way of doing that is to just simply select the top track, hold down the shift key, select the bottom track, right click on the track column, and choose move selected tracks to new folder. Now this folder can be open and closed to reveal the contents. Now if I record and enable the folder or monitor the folder, all those tracks within the folder would automatically carry over. So these tracks would be recorded to the drive that I've specified during my setup. So when I go to my new project, you can have it automatically go directly to your documents folder on your Mac or PC, or you could have it prompt for a file location and this way you could define the folder. So what I want to do now is I'm going to select a folder and I want to right click on the folder itself and we're gonna duplicate our tracks. So let's say this is going to our local drive and this is going to a USB drive or Thunderbolt drive. So what I want to do is to select the files within my duplicates and right click and choose set record folder. What I want to do is we'll create a new folder We'll choose that folder. And what I want to do now is to record enable both folder tracks here. So as we look at it, my first folder is record enabled and the second folder is record enabled. So now we'll open up our folders and hit record. And now with the same routings preserved, the same namings preserved, they're being recorded to two different drive locations or two independent drives. And we can verify this by going to your media to the pool window. And as we kind of scroll over, we could see our different drive locations show up here. So instead of having to copy over a number of large files, if you wanted to actually record, to multiple drives simultaneously to do a simultaneous backup, the set record function recording inside of Cubase is a great solution. If you found this video useful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the YouTube channel.